Hello, my name is Dr. Evan Farina of the Harvard Combined Orthopedic Residency Program in the Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. I'm one of the lead authors of this JBJS article, Meniscal and Mechanical Symptoms Are Associated with Cartilage Damage, Not Meniscal Pathology. On behalf of my co-investigators and myself, we hope you find our study to be an interesting read, and we also hope that it will help to inform your practice and caring for patients with symptomatic knees as they present in your own clinic. With a growing body of evidence questioning the diagnostic utility of patient-reported meniscal and mechanical symptoms, in addition to some recent studies also suggesting that patients with these symptoms may have poor outcomes following arthroscopic partial meniscectomy, our study sought to examine the association between these symptoms and the underlying intraarticular pathology encountered at the time of arthroscopy. Furthermore, given the high incidence or I should say prevalence of concomitant pathology encountered in symptomatic knees, we sought to identify which of these intraarticular pathologies is in fact the primary driver for patient symptoms. So our study examined a cohort of approximately 560 patients with traditionally defined mechanical symptoms, those being knee walking and catching, and or meniscal symptoms, which have been traditionally defined by knee clicking, grinding, popping, or pain with knee pivot and twisting, all in patients who underwent knee arthroscopy from the years of 2012 through 2019. We interestingly found that these symptoms were in fact strongly associated with the burden and severity of underlying cartilage damage rather than with any specific meniscal pathology. We of course acknowledge that you know, there are patients that will present your clinic with an isolated meniscus tear and oftentimes this is associated with the setting of a distinct um, trauma or acute injury as often the case in our younger athletes and so our conclusions are not as generalizable uh, to those patient cohorts. However, amongst a large number of patients that do present to our clinics with knee complaints and with a new understanding that underlying cartilage damage is the primary driver of their symptoms, that is in patients with concomitant pathology, we hope that our work helps to inform your current practice as well as your diagnostic algorithms before potentially moving forward with arthroscopic surgery. Lastly, I'd like to take this opportunity just to make a comment on the particular terms of meniscal symptoms and mechanical symptoms, which I think have unfortunately become a little conflated in our clinical documentation as well as in our research literature. I think each of these terms carries the onus of a presumptive and an isolated diagnosis for meniscus tear. However, our study highlights how nonspecific these classically defined symptoms are for meniscus pathology alone. And so I think one of the easiest changes that we can make in our current practice and going forward would be to avoid use of these misleading terms and instead favor more specific descriptive terms. Uh, for example, say, you know, grinding sensation in the knee or document knee walking. Um, our group is currently analyzing data in the second phase of this study, where we'll be evaluating post-operative outcomes in patients with and without these self-reported knee symptoms. And we look forward to the opportunity to potentially share these results with you in the near future. Thank you.